Greetings, beautiful souls, and welcome to another enlightening episode of Reverse Reset Restore. I'm Sally, your guide on this journey of self-mastery. We delve deep into the power of reversing old beliefs, hitting the reset button on our thoughts, and embarking on a transformative journey towards restoring our holistic health. So get ready to breathe, reflect, and renew as we embark on this mindful reset together. Change comes from within. Hello and welcome to Reverse Reset Restore. Today's mindfulness practice is a meditation where you'll be engaging with your five senses. We use our senses all the time, but they are something we typically don't really pay that much attention to. Yeah, sure, we know how we're using our ears and our eyes all day long. We notice that aroma of percolating coffee first thing in the morning, taste of a long-awaited meal, and what it feels like when we stub our toe. But for the most part, we don't stop to appreciate the senses that are available to us. We utilize them and take them for granted. Cultivating a five sense mindfulness practice allows you to reconnect to your body, what you see, smell, hear, taste and feel. For this session, we'll spend about one minute for each sense. However, you can take as long as you want whenever you might want to spend some time in this practice. The point is to focus on the here and now and explore each sense and how it's being activated in the moment. It doesn't matter what sense you start or end with. The order in which you pay attention to each sense is really irrelevant. If you don't have a particular sense, maybe you've lost your taste buds or your hard of hearing or visually impaired, you can still spend time working with the senses that are accessible to you. It's a quick exercise to feel centered, refocus our attention and get out of the realms of anxiety or stress by focusing on our body and what we can sense around us right here, right now. For this practice, I recommend closing your eyes, except for when you're doing the vision portion of the meditation. When we have our eyes closed while engaging with our other senses, we experience a much more heightened sense of awareness, and this can help sharpen your attention. We're going to start by sitting or lying in a comfortable position. Rest your hands on your thighs or by your side or wherever feels the most natural and comfortable for you. Notice your breathing. There's no need to breathe in any particular way. Just bring your attention to each part of the breath, the inhale, exhale and the space in between. Let's just take a few moments now to concentrate on our breath. Okay. Now we are going to begin to bring awareness to each of your five senses, focusing on each one at a time. Let's start with what you can hear. Begin noticing all the sounds around you. Perhaps you can hear the sounds coming from within you, like breathing or digestion or your heartbeat. What sounds are happening in the room you're currently in? Is there a fan or an air conditioner? Can you hear the fridge or a clock or the rumbling of the washing machine? What about the sounds outside of your house or office? Or if you're practicing this outside, maybe you can hear the steady whoosh of traffic or birdsong or the wind rustling the leaves in the trees. Whatever the sounds may be, don't judge them or begin to think too much about them. You might notice that a sound may bring back a memory or remind you of something that needs to be done. Make a mental note and put that aside and just listen now to the sounds from within and surrounding you. Are you hearing more sounds now than before you started to focus on what you could hear? Are there sounds that were too subtle to be heard before that you're hearing now? Is one sound more pleasant than others? Have some sounds been distracting you? Now let's shift your attention to notice what you can smell in your environment. Smell is the sense most strongly tied to memory. Are there any aromas now that take you back to a time and place or person? Maybe you can smell food or perfume. You might become aware of the smell of your shampoo or conditioner or body lotion. Is there a book near you where you can smell the paper? If you're outside, do you notice the fragrance of the flowers or trees? Are there unpleasant smells like garbage or car fumes? Again, just spend a few more moments now honing your sense of smell, noticing them all without judgment or trying to analyze them too much. Stay present. 
We're going to focus now on our sense of taste. No matter the length of time between meals or snacks or drinks, we hold on to tastes in our mouth that go unnoticed. Lying or sitting here now with your eyes closed, run your tongue over your teeth, your gums and cheeks. Pay attention to your breath as you breathe out and your saliva and your tongue. What are you able to taste? Do you notice an aftertaste of what you previously drank or ate? Is there a hint of mint from your toothpaste? The beer you had after work? Your afternoon cappuccino and chocolate chip cookie? Focus on your taste now for just a few moments. We're shifting away from our taste sense now and turning our attention to touch. Bring your attention to your whole body now. Whether you're sitting or lying down, begin to be aware of the contact your body is making with the chair or the bed or the floor or the grass or the sand, whatever you're resting on. What sensations do you feel with your skin's contact on the various fabrics or materials it's touching? Are there any pressure points? Does everything feel evenly distributed or are there gaps between your body and the furniture or the floor or ground? What does the temperature of your skin feel like? Are your hands or feet warmer or cooler than other parts of your body? What are the textures that you can feel? Take some time to notice the way your clothes fit against your skin. We're going to turn our attention now to the sense of sight. If you've had your eyes closed during the other four senses, you can open them now. Begin to observe your surroundings. Notice the colors, shapes, and textures of the room or the space you're in. Look at the things closest to you. Can you see all the fine details? How far away can you see? If it's possible, pick up something that you don't normally pay a lot of attention to. Look at it closely. Explore it from all angles. How does your perception of that object change? Maybe you'll see fingerprints pressed into the surface of a glass or tiny hairline cracks almost invisible to your eye, except not when it's this close. Notice the water droplets, their shapes and sizes holding onto the side of a bottle, the way your rug is woven together. See that by looking at these normal, everyday things in a different way, how your vision changes. All these little things that had previously gone unnoticed, unseen. As we finish our practice, just notice how your body feels in this moment. Does it feel different than before you began just a few moments ago? What has changed? Focus back on your breathing now. Taking a big breath, hold it as long as it feels comfortable for you to do so, and then exhale slowly. I hope that you find these few minutes of reconnecting to your senses beneficial. I love this type of mindful practice because it really does stop your mind from going in a zillion different directions and it allows you to just re-engage with different parts of your body that you may not give a lot of thought to. One of the benefits of this type of exercise as well is that you can create a mindful moment focusing on only one sense instead of all five. This would be particularly helpful if you're short on time or you need a moment to refocus and calm down or you just want to practice becoming more in tune with one of your senses. You could do the taste one, for example, even while you still have food in your mouth. Next time you're feeling overwhelmed or just need to take a moment to bring you back to the present moment and connect to your body, try this exercise. Thank you for joining me today on this Mindful Monday episode. Remember, we've got 31 days of self-care tips and practices as part of our focus on Mental Health Awareness Month. And the good news is you can start implementing these at any time. I'd love to hear what you discovered about yourself or your senses during the sensory meditation. Let me know on our Insta page with the hashtag senses. Taking us out of this episode today is this quote from William Osler, who had this to say about our senses. Observe, record, tabulate, communicate. Use your five senses. Learn to see, learn to hear, learn to feel, learn to smell, and know that by practice alone, you can become expert. 